everyday sort of things this morning. I've already been to the post office to send off some yarn orders. Um, I'm trying to only do uh, post office runs once a week if possible, twice if I'm really desperate. Um, so I've nipped out this morning to do that. I've got um, my previous vlog video uploaded this morning. I've been having problems with uh, uploading the last few days. It should have gone out yesterday. Um, but for some reason I'm having problems with it kind of stopping midway and not being able to re start from where it was up to so that's been a bit of a pain also when I'm uploading I can't really use the internet we have really slow internet here uh, there are worse places on the island where it's even slower than we are but uh, it's still slow compared to on the mainland in the big city so I'm going to spend a bit of time in the kitchen today I've got uh, some squash that I want to roast for my favourite roast pumpkin soup. I've got, actually I don't know what I'm making, I usually make that for Halloween but hey go, hey ho, I'm going to make it twice obviously. And I'm going to make something with the windfall apples from the garden, possibly uh, an apple galette or a cake, depends on how I feel. I've got beetroot that needs to be processed. I'm going to pickle some but I'm not my recipe in my good housekeeping book uh, mentions roasting the beetroot first rather than just boiling it. So I'm going to be making a bit of both of them and try, you know, make a jar of roast pickled beetroot and regular cooked pickled beetroot to see the difference. And what else have I got to do? I can't remember, but we shall see when I get in the kitchen. Okay, so I'm doing two recipes from the same book today, both from the Delia Smith's Winter Collection and which no longer has its dust sheet but that's okay dust cover rather so i'm doing this which i call apple galette but she's called american one crust pie with spiced apples and raisins but i highly doubt it's that american but i could be wrong but it's an apple galette so yeah big piece of pastry fill it with your filling in which case would be spiced apples fold up the sides and you you know, glaze it and baking and what have you. So I've got that to do. Um, so I'm using apples from the garden. These are windfall ones. So some of them have got a bit uh, nibbled. You can see that? That one's got a little bit nibbled. I'll just chop that out. Some of them, they just happen to have fallen off. So I've picked them before they can get nibbled. So I've got those to do. And the second recipe is also from this book. I can find it. I tend to use the same like three or four recipes out of this book and it's the roast pumpkin soup with melting cheese but I change it up I don't do the melty cheese bit I we've tried it with and without we've tried it with the cheese a couple of times and not liked it so I completely ignore that and just do the roast pumpkin side of things and I usually use butternut squash because it's got lots of flavor um, but don't use I've used a starchy pumpkin before and it's not nice so it's really really simple really basic and pretty much all the flavor comes from the roast squash itself so i've got that to do and i remember the other thing i need to do in the kitchen which is i've got some of it here but i need to put the fruit for the christmas cakes orange as well uh, to soak in the zest and orange juice and brandy ready for baking Christmas cakes in the next couple of days.